Housebreaking your Shih Tzu may be one of the biggest challenges that you take on as a pet parent. However, it does not need to be stressful or frustrating. In fact, it can build self-confidence, both for you as a trainer and for your Shih Tzu as a student. The actual fundamentals of house training a Shih Tzu are not overly complicated. Your level of success is directly related to how much effort you put into this and how closely you follow the training guidelines. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Indoor house training. 1. Do not assume you can skip over potty training instructions. Most are still applicable, using a leash, timing, keeping the pup in the designated area for up 15 minutes, giving rewards, etc. 2. Consider what sort of indoor method you want to use. For Shih Tzu kept in a defined area such as a playpen, pee pads usually work best. In some cases, an artificial grass mat or a real one like the real grass dog potty can work well and is also a popular option when setting up a secondary area that is only used during inclement weather. 3. Take advantage of the opportunities if the pee pads are missed. For bowel movements, move the feces onto the pad for a small amount of time to transfer the scent. For urine puddles, before you use enzyme cleaner, Wipe it up with paper towels and place those onto the pad for a bit to transfer the scent. 4. If you only need to use the indoor method for a short amount of time, it can be beneficial to set things up in a mudroom or attached garage. This way, your dog is being led away from their normal living area to a designated bathroom spot. This can maintain consistency and keep the concept of housebreaking on track for when the situation changes back. The 6 Housebreaking Prep Steps 1. Choose a designated area. For outdoor training, never allow your pup to go just anywhere in the yard. One specific area that is ideally an 8 to 10 foot diameter with relativity easy access year-round is best. 2. Set up a defined area, but not a small crate. Any time that you cannot directly and closely supervise your Shih Tzu and whenever they are home alone, Place your puppy in a contained area that limits where they can pee and poo. This will stop housebreaking accidents nearly 100% of the time. A crate should not be used since such restricted spaces can be terribly confining, usually are not effective in teaching lessons, only serve to force puppies to urinate and defecate in their personal space, and the claustrophobic design of a crate can cause anxiety. This will limit where pee and poo are deposited and is spacious and open enough as to not feel confining. Line the floor with pee pads. Use a holder if your Shih Tzu moves them around or chews at them. Place a bed, water bowl, and toys inside the pen. If you are doing indoor training, keep the door open for easy access to the pad pads at times when your Shih Tzu is outside of their pen. 3. Use a tethering system for supervision. Simply, keeping an eye on a pup, is not always an effective supervision method since this will no doubt lead to the pup peeing as soon as you look away or scampering off and leaving a puddle before you can catch up to them. So, any time that your Shih Tzu is not in their defined area, and you cannot maintain constant and extremely close supervision, use a tethering method with a leash and harness. About the leash. Unlike the outdoor leash you may be using, this should be lightweight and soft handled. The soft handle makes it easy to slip it around your wrist or slip it through a belt loop on your slacks. 4. Have effective training treats. If a puppy pees or poos in the designated area, but doing so brings about no beneficial results, 
there are no compelling reasons to do it there again. For this reason, training treats play a considerable role in helping a Shih Tzu learn that they did something right and as well as offering motivation for repeat behavior. It's vital to give the reward within just seconds of the action, so always bring them along each time you take your Shih Tzu out. It can help to keep them in a zipped plastic bag right by the exit door. 5. Choose the cue words. As you progress with housebreaking your Shih Tzu, you'll find it helpful for your little guy or gal to understand the wording that means it's time to head outside for bathroom needs. To instill this, also use it when giving praise. Common cue words include, potty, potty time, bathroom, and, get busy. Be sure that everyone in the household agrees on the terminology. 6. Have a quality enzyme cleanser. Urine and stools contain certain enzymes. These are not washed away with soap and water. While the area may smell clean to you, your Shih Tzu will be able to pick up on those lingering odors. Those odors send a powerful message that essentially advertises, this is the bathroom area, and a dog rarely ignores that. This often leads to repeated accidents in the house. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.